A United States Navy SEAL has been killed in a firefight with ISIS in Iraq. It happened just north of Mosul when enemy fighters were able to break through the front lines of those protecting forces, the Kurdish forces. Uh, well, no feat like that goes unmatched. In response, the United States launched a volley. F-15s and drones and more than 20 bombs hit those enemy targets. I want to bring in Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr and CNN military analyst Major General Spider Marks. Barbara, you know, we have been told that these U.S. special forces, many of them operating as advisors, were uh, not operating on front lines, were in relatively safer positions, and then this happens. Can you explain how exactly it happened? Well, let's talk about the lay of the land up there, Ashley. Indeed, you're right. They work as military advisors. They do not go out in a combat role on a combat mission. Their rules require them to stay back behind the front lines, but out on the battlefield uh, at, a, at, a, at a relatively safe distance. But it's very dangerous work. In this case, we are told that the U.S. advisors were three to five kilometers behind the Peshmerga front line when ISIS broke through. There will certainly be a look at how ISIS was able to do that. Um, it's, it's obviously something that the U.S. is going to want to take a very firm look at, especially as they are sending in more advisors. Uh, but the, the feeling is that the U.S. troops have to be out there somewhat. They have to be able to help the Peshmerga fighters, the Iraqi forces, as close to that front line as they can. So it's always that basic question. Is it combat? They didn't go out on a combat mission assigned to them, but combat comes to them. It is a very dangerous business out there.